Hello and welcome back to The Cock Dice. This week I'm bringing you the first of a new set of videos focusing on converting up a number of different chapters that have been involved in the Indominus II Crusade or are just relatively interesting from the lore. This week I'm going to be tackling the Silver Skulls as demonstrated by this model here. The Silver Skulls have a couple of key chapter points I wanted to bring out on this model. First of all, they herald from a feral world uh, and one of the great traditions of the chapter is collecting skull totems. Uh, which they often display on their armour. They're known for being fairly brutal on the battlefield and I wanted to kind of uh, show this through some of the weaponry and, and gear choices. A lot of this conversion is going to be based on this image here, Captain Darius Aaron of the 4th Battle Company. Uh, I really like this picture, I think this is the picture that really drew me to them. Mainly the chainsaw, I think the chainsaw's awesome. Uh, so we're going to try and incorporate that. Without further ado, we better start looking at some of the pieces we're going to need for this conversion. So here's the collection of bits I'm going to be using tonight. Most notably, obviously we've got a skull head, so I'm converting up an intercessor. One of the key pieces we're going to be using here is going to be skull head for his main head. That's from a Reaver's kit. Uh, I've managed to lay my hands on a Silver Skull style shoulder pad from one of the Death Watch kits. We've got some extra hair, which I'll either add to his weapon or his sword and kind of a, replicate some of the imagery you see around Space Wolves. Um, and that way. Skull Totem, obviously we're going to strip off the corn icons off this uh, and give it a different top. And this rather brutal looking chainsword which looks excellent at taking out your enemies and removing their heads. I'm going to get on and get this guy assembled. So here's our intercessor body we're going to be using tonight. I've built him up, I've removed some of the mould lines from him and the only two key bits I've really done here is I've just reshaped this shoulder um, connector here so it fits with the arm I've got and I've also flattened off the sort of uh, nubule that was sticking out on that one so that the arm can stick on uh, nice and neatly. So we'll start with his bolt pistol arm. So with this, this is going to be a very, very simple job. We're just going to remove the arm just above the elbow, um, below the shoulder pad here, because we don't need this style of shoulder pad for him. Now you can do this with a big knife, or if you have one jewellery saw, but we've managed to get a fairly neat line there. So that giant fits fairly neatly there. Makes it look like he's pointing his pistol over that way. So we'll get that glued on. We mainly need to make sure that we line up the inner side of this. Make sure the, shoulder, the arm at the top of his shoulder fits neatly. So for his other arm, we're going to place this on here and just essentially glue that on there and then we'll pop a, the silver skulls shoulder pad over the top of that if it's nice on there so one thing we need to do is just remove this little nub down here and we'll just get that attached now we'll put this guy to one side and just let him dry whilst we work on this chain sword obviously this is a fairly brutal looking sword one of the main things about it is it's got a lot of chaos iconography on it at the moment so we need to strip down the sides of the blade remove this spike here clean it around the hand and make it look a bit more like an, um, a loyalist chainsword, basically. So with this, just going to take a knife and run it down the blade. Make sure you've got a fairly sharp blade in it. And instead of trying to take the whole symbol off at once, just take it off in layers. That way we'll manage to preserve as much of this chainsword as possible. switch to a smaller knife. Be super careful doing stuff like this because these are there's not a lot of give in the model, there's not a lot of holding this knife away from my thumb. And I don't want you to have some sort of accident and cut your thumb off, thank you very much. So just to make sure we've got any of those details off and they don't show up when we're painting, you can just about see the outline of the arrow there. I'll give you this, each side of this blade a little bit of a sand just with a nail file. So there we have it. We've moved the symbols and we've managed to get a fairly smooth surface with the nail file closely as we can and as straight as we can. 
bear with me, I can iron here. There we go. It's a fairly clean cut there. And then we're just going to trim off these little spikes on this side. And smooth down the back of his hand. So now that's cleaned up, we're going to just pop that chainsaw on his off hand here. Like that. That's pretty brutal looking. Uh, we'll pop his head on. As we're going to add this banner pole into his back, I'm just going to put a hole in the centre of his backpack to help locate it when we want to stick it on and to give it somewhere just to drop into. So you want to find space fairly central. Now I've got a hole relatively centrally to his backpack. We'll just drop his backpack on the model. So he's starting to come together. So we'll get this uh, trophy rack sorted out now. Obviously the main bit of this, we're going to take this side of it. We don't want the corn symbol and we need to remove it from the bottom. So this is a fairly simple job. Just take the bottom of it off there and clean it up a little bit. Doesn't massively matter because we're going to drop this bit obviously inside his backpack. And then we're going to remove the corn symbol from the top there, just above that spike. So we just need to trim these shot spikes down. So there we have a trophy rack for his back. And we'll just drop some glue in the hole there. And hopefully that's going to fit in the hole. Of yes, it Whoa, look at that. So there we go. And then some drop some glue around the front here and the sides. We'll drop this on top of there. I'll add his shoulder pad for so his other side. So one of the things noted about the silver skulls is they come from a feral world. And so we want to replicate some of the iconography that you see on perhaps the uh, white scars or the space wolves. I completely forgot my names there. So I'm going to give him a top knot. This has actually just come from an Age of Sigma miniature that I had kicking around. But if you've got a Space Wolf box, then that would be ideal. We'll just drop that on top of his head there, making sure it's blowing in the same direction as the banner. Now, as this is, is the Silver Skulls chapter and they have fought some fairly rough battles, I wanted to give him a loincloth, but I decided instead of just giving him a, a very normal, boring you know, Space Marine loincloth, I'd give him a bit of a tattered loincloth. Uh, perhaps it's some holy scripture that's uh, he's carried with him for many, many years and something like that. And for that, we're going to use a bit of Night Haunt. Now, looking at that, that looks to be fitting in there almost perfectly. So we're going to take this straight across there, a little bit higher than I need to. And when we paint it up, we can add some script to it to make it appear more like some scroll work. So now we've got it to fit, we're just going to drop it on. I've taken a bit of a nudge out of it just to fit it around. These um, purity seals, we're going to drop it on, sticking out a little bit from the model. And then I'll take a little bit of green stuff just to clean it all up to make sure it fits neatly. Right, now this guy is pretty dry. Uh, the only change I've made to it was I've dropped an extra skull on the top of here just to cover up the top of that staff. And we're going to do a little bit of green stuff work just to tidy him up. I'll try and keep the green stuff work on these guys, these conversions, as minimal as possible. First bit we're going to add around his cloak here. We just need to really blend this corner in really more than anything else. And a little bit on this side. So the only bit of green stuff I'm going to do is I'm just going to stuff a little bit under here. Because I've brought this arm out at a little bit more of an angle than it's supposed to be at. It just needs a little green stuff tucking in here. And there we have our Silver Skull Space Marine completed for tonight. Obviously he's off out to the garage to get sprayed up, I'll get him painted, and you can sit and view him on this lovely spinny video. Take it away. So thank you very much for joining us once again here at Cockdice. We will see you again soon. Good night.